Deployment Zone is not only a battle reports channel, it's also an incredible, amazing community filled with interesting and awesome people. And to give a little bit of love back to Liam and Winters and to show them just what this community means to everybody, um, I reached out to some of the community and I just asked them one simple question. What does Deployment Zone mean to you? Initially it meant battle reports, learning the game, getting into 8th. For me it was from about April last year. Uh, nowadays though it's so much more about the community. I met 15 people at least through Deployment Zone. I wrote them all down on a list so I could remember who I'd played against and every one of those games has been fantastic without exception. They could rank easily as my favourite games of 40k. I essentially learned this hobby from watching Winters and then later Liam. Uh, and I learned how to paint because I listened to people in the community and just took feedback from there. So everything about this hobby is thanks to the Winters Discord and the More Hammer Discord and then DZTV Now. I would say to anyone who's involved in this community, uh, get more involved if you can. Yeah, Get to any of these events. If there's anything that um, is coming up and you haven't got a ticket, buy a ticket, go. You will not regret it. You'll have a great time uh, and you'll just want more of it. Everybody's very welcome. I'm the only guy from Serbia there and I never felt completely out of place. And we have, as I said, people all over the world. So, Daisy TV, Winters, Liam, and Daisy TV Discord. Best place to be if you're in 40k. DZ TV is my hobby motivation more than anything. Uh, you watch the videos, uh, you watch the bat reps, uh, you look at the, the stuff that gets put on Patreon and you think, oh yeah, that's on Discord, you think, yeah, that's good, I'd like a bit of that. It's uh, the first place I go when I complete a mini, it's the first place I go for advice, uh, to speak to people about the hobby. Uh, I've met some wonderful people there. It all started when I watched Winter's SEO and as soon as I heard he was partnering with Morehammer to form a channel, I was in day one, 2018, uh, June 1st, and I was watching it. It's the ability to come on and pretend that Furby is the fifth Chaos God and everyone's a bit kind of, yeah, okay, let's go with that. This, that's that's now, now canon. <laughs> the, the ability that all of our, our differences are more celebrated than they are shunned away, that nobody's put in a box. It's like, oh no, you must collect army and you must play it this way and it must be like this. There's none of that and that's fantastic and that's that's the, my favourite thing about this community. It's a lifeline for my adult life to the awesome Grimlock world of Warhammer 40k. Back in the day, I used to have a, a really close-knit group of friends and we gamed um, every week. Uh, every Tuesday we'd play three, four, five uh, games a night. We used to do roleplay weekends and, uh, and all sorts. And over the years, as real life has developed and people have moved away, settled down and done all those real lifey things, that, uh, that close-knit group, we're still all good friends, but we, we don't meet up every Tuesday. Some of us are lucky if we meet up once or twice a year, COVID-19 notwithstanding. And Deployment Zone has given me all that back. It's uh, being involved in this amazing, accepting, supportive community. Um, be it talking on Discord with awesome people around the world, um, these these great uh, characters in there, or just watching the battle reports that somehow suck you in and make you feel like you're there for every T phase. Uh, it's very much my 40k. It's my kind of community. Interacting with uh, people from all over the world, of all different backgrounds, all brought together by the love of a hobby, love of 40k, and by two people who help us enjoy that hobby even more. DZTV is a huge, narrative, friendly, inclusive, 40k animal, and I love it. And it's the best place to be. You get to mix and mingle with other like-minded people, but also people with a lot more experience, um, and just some crazy, crazy ideas as well. So I think it's brilliant the way you can just kind of your hobby can improve just as a part of being a community. And to me, that's what DZTV is. I've been collecting for 35 years, maybe a bit more. And for the most part, it's been a pretty solitary, solitary hobby. But, you know, it's the last six months or so since I joined the DZ community, I've probably learned more, gained more confidence and more skills than at any point in the last 10 years. Um, I've also probably bought more figures in the last six months, in the last ten years as well. Look at me, you Ridley. Being in DCTV, being 
able to talk to you legends is a privilege and I, I want to do it for the rest of my days you know as long as I as long as I've got lead in my pencil and uh, blood in my veins I want to be playing 40k and I want to be playing it for you guys with you guys um, and I want to keep witness at that factory because that's what it's really about um, so thank you all um, you know from from you know the, the DZTV guys um, thank you um, you keep the dream alive you are all legends in your own lunchtime and you know a bit of teamwork makes the dream work so thank you thank you thank you thank you DZTV is effectively the inside of Winters's head it is wonderful it's creative it's brilliant and it's utterly chaotic and nobody seems to know at all what they're doing but everybody there is my kind of person and uh, if I could meet all of you and play games with all of you I would and it's a home away from home and the rest of the internet is a cesspit and DZTV isn't. It's full of fun, creative people who want to help everybody else enjoy the hobby. It's the antithesis of gatekeeping and I don't think there is a better space in, in the hobby online for me other than DZTV. Uh, it truncates all the competitive stuff and everybody just wants to enjoy and fall into this wonderful world that we've all become horrifically addicted to. I would show you my cat, but she's just buggered off. It's somewhere I can go to blow off steam after a bad day or share some exciting news with people who are genuinely interested in each other. Uh, there's a thread for everything depending on what I want to talk about. Uh, I can share my conversions, my paint jobs, uh, my beard, uh, or even my cat. Ain't that right, pal? I'm um, really actually quite honoured to be part of the team. Um, I didn't have to have me, um, you know. Um, but I love being part of it. I love being uh, involved, being, you know, maybe a little bit of a comedian. But, um, yeah, what I do like about it is obviously the community feel. Everyone's got together, everyone's paying their money in to be part of this community, which is just brilliant. Um, and everyone supports each other. Uh, if you just look on the Discord, uh, it's amazing how people just support each other there. Um, give people praise, some sort of helpful criticism as well about maybe some advice about painting. So I just love it that we're all part of the same team, same community. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's helped me find people to play with locally to me. There's not too many people in this part of the US that seem to play, so it's helped me a lot. Um, and I really appreciate it and hope it keeps going and growing stronger. A absolutely brilliant community where you can talk to anybody at basically any time of the day and you can get other people to bounce ideas off of. The support which has brought up during COVID has been fantastic. My wife doesn't have to listen to me uh, talk about plastic models and I can nearly justify to myself how much I spend on plastic crack. In DZTV in the Discord, you can talk about things and be passionate about things and share your love and passion with other people who feel exactly the same way in a way that I have found in very few other spaces. And more than that, especially as we grow up, especially as we get older, it's harder to make friends and we become more isolated in our own lives. You have commitments, jobs, families, you know, whatever, and it means you have less time to indulge in the things that you love and to meet new people who share in those things through the Discord and through the community, this is our safe space where we can come together and where we meet up. Like, I've made really good friends through the Discord with people at times who live in other countries, at times with people who live in my city, and I, had, I would never have met them had it not been for the Discord, and now we're such good friends. So when people ask me, like, what does DZTV mean to me? It's my safe space. That's exactly what it is. I think for me, one of the great things about it is the breadth of humanity that it brings together. It doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, what background you are. All of the crap that can be associated with modern day life just isn't there. It's just a place, a safe place for hobbying, narrative, storytelling, playing games and meeting great like-minded individuals. Feels like a family. You know, every one of you feels like a, a distant relative of mine. I don't speak to you very much, but 
everyone matters to me. And I think that's what TCD, TCTV is to us. It's a community of like-minded individuals that can share their, their wealth of knowledge or lack of knowledge or just enthusiasm for something that is uh, common and then everything that goes around it as well because actually we've got so much more in common than just Warhammer and model painting that it's unbelievable. What DZTV means to me is uh, yeah, it's just community, the pinnacle of community. It's the best community I've ever been a part of and it's what I will hold every community up to. When I think about what DZTV means to me, I think about the community that I get to interact with every day and having all these different kinds of people from all over the world to talk about one of my favourite hobbies and quite possibly even get to play games with them in the future. And I, I, it feels amazing to always have that and have that support and have those friends in a hobby where I never used to have that and it, sometimes it's overwhelming but in one of the best ways possible. The deployment zone to me is like having a huge dysfunctional group of friends and family that you can always rely on. The kind that usually accumulate over years. They entertain you when you feel down and inspire you when you feel lost. Happy wargaming. When I was at my absolute lowest after losing members of my family, I turned to Winter's videos for something to watch, something to do. When I was at my absolute lowest in life, it was Winter's and Say Hi Paul playing Space Marines vs Orcs that kept me alive. I owe everything to DZTV, I owe my continued existence on this planet to these wonderful people, to Winters, to Liam, to their respective partners and to all of the people that followed them, that pledge on Patreon, that followed them on YouTube, that like, subscribe, to all of those people, to the men themselves and to, to everybody I know on Discord, thank you. From the bottom of my heart I genuinely don't think I would be here without you and we all owe you an incredible debt for creating this wonderful thing.